dear learners today we are going to discuss about gi national park after this session you will be able to understand about the gi as a national park you will also come to know that why gi national park is important in india and you will also come to know about the various attractions nearby gi national park as we have already studied about the wildlife tourism and in wildlife tourism we have also discussed about the difference between national park wildlife sanctuaries and bio reserves so continuing with the further uh, we will discuss about gir so coming to gir gir today is the only place in the world outside africa where a lion can be seen in its natural habitat the gir national park and wildlife sanctuary also known as sasan gir and is the forest and the wildlife sanctuary in gujarat india gir national park and wildlife sanctuary now known as wildlife protected area and is a dense deciduous forest it has innumerable species of various plants as well as animals the vegetation of this place is rich because of presence of various favorable factors such as several perennial rivers flow through this area gir national park is established in 1965 with a total area of 1412 square kilometer for the fully protected area the national park and 1152 square kilometer for sanctuary the park is located 43 kilometer northeast of uh, somnath which is 65 uh, kilometers southeast of junagar and 60 kilometers south west of amarveli it experience all the three seasons rich biodiversity of this area makes it favorite spots for scientific study of biologists from all part of the world every year large number of tourists visit this uh, national park to experience the eternal natural bliss of this place the park makes the greatest conservation ground for famed asiatic lion which roamed around freely nearly 2 centuries back in the wilderness of middle east and of some part of the indian subcontinent but is now an endangered species and specially uh, you can find this asiatic lion only in gir national park it is the sole home of asiatic lion and is considered to be one of the most important protected area in asia due to its supported species the ecosystem of gir with its diverse flora and fauna is protected as a result of the effort of government forest department wildlife activist and ngos the topography of gir also consists of grassland patches of evergreen trees acacia scrubs and marshland the asiatic lion of gir are a little smaller in size when compared to their african cousins but despite of this fact the chance of visualize a large masculine lion of gir is indeed a one of a kind experience the best way one could catch a glimpse of this royal magnificent creature is through guided jungle safari tour during the dusk or dawn spotting the king of jungle or other animal of the big cat family from close range during the safari tour will indeed send a shiver down your spine the drive across the sprawling forest ground is the best way to enjoy gir spectacular wildlife the best drive route from the sasan are sasan kankai sasan bhavel chok sasan chodabdi sasan kamleshwar dam and sasan tulsi sham lion shows organized by the forest department each sunday will let you will visualize the prowling and the proud lion of out on hunt once distributed across asia minors and arabs in century gone by lion had colonized land in india as far north as saharanpur muradabad and ludhiana eastward to bihar and southward to narmada valley indian lions or asiatic lions is one of five big cat species found in india a single population exists in gir forest national park of gujarat state asiatic lion is listed as endangered due to its small population in gir national park and wildlife sanctuary now coming to the history of gir national park the area of gir national park was once the hunting ground for the britishers during their reign in india and while hunting this a great number of tigers and lions accompanied by several rajas and maharajas of this region 
it was considered as a matter of pride during that time most of the maharajas and nawabs they normally accompany britishers uh, for the hunting it was in year 1899 the major count of loin decreased sharply with the effect of famine and the result lord cousin cancelled his trip in gear which was scheduled for shooting upon invitation by the nawabs of the region however faced with the drastic drop in the uh, loin population in gear nawab sir mohammad rasul kanji babi declared gir as a protected area in 1900s later after independence the government of india banned the hunting process in the area in the year 1960 and today with an approachable count of increase in loin the area is only available for the photo safaris today gir national park has become one of the most sought after tourist destination in gujarat and in the recent times gir is the home to nearly 300 loins it is now considered the jewel of gujarat ecological resources the loin breeding program included the park and its surrounding area has bred about 180 loins in its captivity since its inspection and it is also considered as a jewel of gujarat ecological resources now coming to the geography of gir national park the gir national park is a expensive forested belt with its typology consisting in evergreen and semi evergreen flora scrub jungles grasslands rocky hills isolated hills valleys plateaus as well as the marshy lands the eastern part of the park is choked mainly by dry semi arid deciduous trees while the rest of the park consists of uh, its stunted wood intercepted by lush hilly grasslands divided by rocky tipped ravines the northern side of the park is predominant by the uh, scrub lands Water bodies within a uh, gir such as Kamleshwar dam site marks the most ideal haven for birds reptiles and marsh crocodiles the average elevation of the place range between 150 meters to 530 meters above the sea level the winter season at a uh, gir starts in october and ends in march summer starts in april and ends in june while monsoon starts in july and ends in september The maximum temperature of the region is about 45 degree centigrade while minimum temperature is about 5 degree centigrade and the average annual rainfall at Gir range between 600 mm to 1000 mm. Now coming to the locations of Gir National Park. The Gir National Park is located in the Western India state of Gujarat and comes within the Gujarat Junagadh district nearly 65 km towards the south east of the district the sanctuary is located in the venice city of talal gir the park is about 390 km away from ahmedabad international airport from rajkot gir is 164 km away and one can easily take a drive down a gir from rajkot station thus the location of gir facilitates easy accessibility now coming to the water sources or the water reservoirs the seven major perennial rivers of gir regions are hiran Chaturanji, Datradi, Sangoda, Makmundar, Godavari and Raval. The four reservoir of the area are at four dams, one each of Hiren, Machindi, Raval and Singoda rivers, including the biggest reservoir in the area, the Kamleshwar dam dubbed the lifeline of Gir. During peak summer, surface water for wild animal is available at about 300 water points. Now coming to the wildlife of Gir The land of ascetic lion is the ideal reserve for the tremendous variety of wild creatures to roam freely and safely. To make a royal journey towards the grand hills of Sasangir, the wildlife lovers can get a fabulous opportunity to witness around 2375 distinct fauna species of gir to include around 38 species of mammals 300 species of birds 37 species of reptiles and more than 2000 species of insect The group of carnivores in Gir is truly comprised of presence of ascetic lion, Indian leopards, Indian cobra, slot bear, jungle cats, golden jackals, Indian palm civet, uh, hyenas, Indian mongoose and rattles. Desert cats and rusty spotted cat exist but can be rarely seen. The main herbivorous genus of a uh, resident of Gir are cheetah, nilgai, sambhu, four-horned chinkara and wild boar. Black bucks from the surrounding area can be occasionally identified in the sanctuary. The group of small mammals will also include porcupine and hare where porcupine is rare in gir sanctuary. The reptiles are represented by the marsh crocodile, 
tortoise and monitor lizard in the water area of the sanctuary. Snakes and pythons too can be found in the lush bushes and along the streams. Being adopted under the Indian Crocodile Conservation Project in 1977, the Gujarat State Forest Department has used the reserve area where the area is also flourished with more than 300 species of birds. The scavenger group of birds has six recorded species of vultures. Some of the typical species of gear includes crested serpent eagle, brown fish owl, endangered bonelli eagle, rock bush squirrel, Indian eagle owl, and Indian pita. Now, London is coming to the flora in Sasangir. In Gir, most of the area is comprised of rugged hills and high ridged and densely forested valley wide grassland plateaus and isolated hilltops. Around half an forest area of the park is being stuffed with the teak forest with other flora varieties like khair, timru, amla and many more. On other half is non-teak forest with samai, semal, jambu, wood and kalam, mostly broad lift and evergreen trees. The river Hiran is the only one to flow year round with rest of the inflow being seasonal. And there are also area of parks with open scrubs and savanna type of grassland. Now learners, we will discuss about uh, the Lawrence breeding program in Gir. The Lawrence breeding program creates and maintains breeding center. It is also carries the studies of behavior of the aesthetic lion and also practiced artificial insemination. One such center has been established in the zoo at the district headquarters of Junagar which has successfully bred about 180 lions. 126 pure aesthetic lions have been given to Jew in India and abroad. Now we will discuss about wildlife sanctuary in India for reintroductions of Indian lions. Aesthetic lion reintroduction project by Indian government to provide alternate home for Panthera, Leo, Persica in other state of India such as Jawhar Sagar Wildlife Sanctuary, Dhag National Park, Kunno Wildlife Sanctuary, Madhya Pradesh and Barda Wildlife Sanctuary, Gujarat. Now coming to the uh, Kunno Wildlife Sanctuary, Madhya Pradesh. Pulpur Kunno uh, Wildlife Sanctuary is located 200 km from Gwalior in northwest Madhya Pradesh. The park is home to many species of wild animal and selected as one of the best place to reintroduce aesthetic lion from Gir Wildlife Sanctuary in Madhya Pradesh. Coming to another sanctuary, we have Sita Mata Wildlife Sanctuary which is in Rajasthan. Sita Mata Wildlife Sanctuary is a protected forest area situated in the southeastern portion of Pratapgarh. Dry deciduous forest of Sita Mata Sanctuary was one of the choice for reintroduced aesthetic lion from Gir Wildlife Sanctuary in Rajasthan. Another sanctuary is uh, Chandra Prabha Wildlife Sanctuary which is in Uttar Pradesh. Chandra Prabha Wildlife Sanctuary is a well-known picnic spot, dense forest situated about 70 kilometers uh, from the city of Varanasi. The park is home to variety of wild animals and paradise for bird watchers. Ascetic lion were introduced at Chandra Pratap in 1958 and now it is also in the list for the reintroduction of Indian lions in Uttar Pradesh. Another we have that is Kambalgar uh, Wildlife Sanctuary which is in Rajasthan. Uh, Kulamgar Wildlife Sanctuary is extended across the Alavali range and home to very large variety of wildlife. The Kumbhalgarh Park will have shortly few Indian lions from Green National Park and Lion Safari can provide additional attractions for the tourists. Another example we have Badda Wildlife uh, Sanctuary in Gujarat and this sanctuary lies 15 kilometers away from Porbandar, a good place for wildlife photography and bird watching in Gujarat. The fascinating wildlife sanctuary is another best place in Gujarat for reintroduction of Indian lions. Now Gir Interpretation Zone, Diwalia. Gir National Park and Sanctuary does not have a designated area for tourists. However, uh, to reduce the tourist uh, hazards to the wildlife and to promote nature education and interpretation zone has been created at Diwali within the sanctuary. Within its chain fences, uh, it covers all habitat types and uh, wildlife of deer with its feeding come living cage for the carnivorous and a double gate entry system. Now coming to the attraction in Sasangir. Uh, when we talk about attractions, we have Kamleshwar Dam. Uh, this is the most requisite dam in the area. 
uh, being built over the Hiran River, which is located inside the Venice city of Gir National Park. The Kamleshwar Dam actually serves as a lifeline of the reserve area where the tourists can find great variety of marsh crocodiles. Second, we have Tulsi Syam Temple. This is the famous temple in the area dedicated to Lord Krishna. People make a sure shot uh, visit to this temple where major hot springs near to the temple are the other major attractions. After that, we have crocodile breeding farm. The crocodile breeding farm uh, near the Sasangi Reserve is an appealing place to learn about the breedings of crocodile. Now coming to the nearby places or the excursion from the uh, Sasangi. First, we have Somnath. This is one of the holy shrine of Lord Shiva, being considered as one of the 12 Jyotilingas and is an important pilgrimage for Hindu where its reaches here ransacked by invaders. The Prabhas Patan Museum has interesting archaeological fragments and sculptures from the ruined temples. Somnath also has uh, Lord uh, Krishna's Chanatep and the bathing ghats at Triveni Tit, a medieval sun temple, the historic Ailya temple, Bakla Tirchi, where Krishna is said to have met his end and the cave temple. Moving forward, we have Dwarka. Dwarka at the distance of 225 kilometers from the reserve. Dwarka is one of the Chardham Yatra, four holy abode and one of the seven holiest cities of Hinduism. Dwarka has an important Krishna temple and attractive 12th to 13th century Rukmani temple, Sankacharya Math and the Nageshwar Jyotilinga are the major attractions in this place. After Dwarka, we have Viraval, which is 36 km from the sanctuary, and this is the fishing port of uh, Viraval, uh, known for its uh, drawn building yards where massive hand built seaward vessels are made. This is one of the port of Nawab of Junagar that holds old gate and historical buildings. Moving forward, we have Jatpur. Jatpur is 90 km from the reserve area and is known as textile town, being famous for its blocks and screen painting workshops and its ideal place for shopping. After that we have Girnar. Girnar is just 60 uh, kilometers from Sasangir and is 3660 feet long hill that rises on the outskirt of Junagar with temples on the ridge and on the summit. The presence of 12th century Jain temple at its height are the major attraction for the location. After that we have uh, Dew Island. Dew Island at just 95 kilometers was once ruled by the Portuguese and is now a union territory. The island is popularly known as a beach destination with the presence of 16th century Portuguese fort and impressive St. Paul's uh, church, Dew museums and old houses. Flamingos, stocks and wedders can also be seen at the creek of Dew. Now coming to safaris uh, in Gir, to have a fantastic safari experience at Sasangir, the privilege of Jeep Safari with a assistant of guide is uh, beneficial. Gir Forest Department also organizes lion show for such fun. They have such that you can see the lion at the close range, so they send trackers early morning on a mission to the located places and tempt them with the life bait. Talking about safari timing, Delhi Games uh, drive in open safari vehicle which starts from 6.30 am to 8.30 am. Again we have another slot that is 8.30 to 10.30 am and the last slot is from 3 pm to 5.30 pm. The park opening time to visit at its best season that is from 15th October till 15th of June of every year. Other attractive activities you can do in Sasangir is bird watching, Devliya Safari Park, Maldhari's tribe uh, visit, Siddhi's tribe visit. You can also visit Crocodile Breeding Center as well as you can visit travel information where you can get lots of information about uh, that particular place and of that particular state. Now reaching to Sasangir, by air the nearest airport is located at Duke at the distance of 92 kilometers from the reserve area and the Rajkot will be next convenient airport or to gear location at the distance of 160 km. From Mumbai, the tourist can catch uh, the daily flights to these two destinations towards gear. By rail, when we talk about one can travel by rail to Junagar from Ahmedabad or Rajkot and uh, then take 65 km road trip on bus or taxi to Sasangir. So that's all about uh, rail. Now coming to road system. 
Gir National Park is 60 kilometers from Junagar and the most common base for making a visit and 360 kilometers away from Ahmedabad. And the main center is at Sasangir and has the forest guest house maintained by the park just opposite to the railway station. Uh, when to visit that I have already discussed that it is from 15th of October to mid of 15th of June every year. Now talking about the hotels or the accommodations in Sasangir area for the best accommodation facilities at the Sasangir reserve area uh, many impressive lodges and the resorts are available uh, to make the wildlife journey more explicit and uh, these lodges are credited with the various facilities and services to make your wildlife uh, tour enjoyable and memorable find the best name to make a perfect choice during your visit to Gir National Park So that's all about uh, Sasangir National Park and the wildlife sanctuary and uh, from this I think you come to know uh, about the various thing about Sasangir National Park when we talk about Sasangir National Park this is the only place for the aesthetic lion and I have also discussed that from Sasangir only they have reintroduced various lion home in different national parks and the wildlife sanctuary so that's why the Sasangir National Park is one of the important national park in India and especially from various areas people visit Sasangir National Park and when we talk about a uh, lion uh, only in this area you can see lion apart from that in other places you see few lions especially in zoo but this area you can see the lion in the natural habitat so when we talk about wildlife sanctuaries uh, in the world most probably africa is very famous so there are special uh, the difference between africa and india why because in africa you can see different kind of lion uh, their size are a bit big but in india uh, you can find aesthetic lion which size is bit smaller apart from that other animals when we talk about uh, you can find one horn rhino in india but when you talk about africa you can find two horn rhino right apart from that when you talk about indian or aesthetic elephant they are a bit different because their ears are a bit big now coming to elephant when we talk about elephants in india the ear of uh, elephants is bit smaller but when we talk about africa the ears of elephants are a bit large and their size is bit smaller right apart from that um, there are very similarities and they are from the same family but the differences are there so that's why people come to india to see various wildlife thing apart from that when we talk about india and when we talk about uh, tigers uh, whole in asia you can find tigers in the large number that is only india and let me tell you when you talk about tigers you can find tigers only in asia and in other continent you never find tiger right asia is the home for the tigers and uh, in other continent you never find any tigers so that's that much from my side thank you